how do you change Kerbal Space Program from looking like this into this? The answer is visual mods, and today we will rank them in a tier system. The first mods I want to start from is Scatterer and Environmental Visual Enhancements. These are two of the most important and old mods of the Kerbal Space Program modding community. Why are they so important though? Well, the answer is that many mods today rely on them to work because they are plugins to Scatterer and Eve. Now what does Scatterer add to the game? Scatterer added oceanic shaders which made the oceans look so much better. It added atmospheric scattering and also shadow casted from eclipses. While environmental visual enhancement added clouds and city lights. But these two mods, Eve and Scatterer, they have to be an A tier. The mod TUFX is a post-process image mod that allows you to edit many image parameters as you're playing the game. For example, you can change the light properties, perform color grading, or add visual filters. This will allow you to achieve cinematic or retro looks, or even cartoonish ones. Just remember, the more you play around with these values, the lower your frame rate will drop. This mod goes into B tier in the list. Turd. Turd stands for Textures Unlimited Recoloring Depot. This mod allows you to change the color of all of the stock parts in Kerbal Space Program and also add a metallic look to them or a rusty look. But remember, if you go too hard on the metallic look, it will look overly dark, at least in my experience. And in order to fully render the reflections for the metallic look, you'll have to crank up the settings of the game really to the maximum, which places this mod into B tier as well. Astronomer's Visual Pack. It's a bit of an old mod now, but essentially it relies on Scatter and Eve, and it contains a great deal of features like 8K clouds, 8K auroras, and an 8K skybox. Glowing clouds on Eve, dust storms, an exosphere on Moho, geysers on Elu, and Minmus. But overall, this mod was poorly, poorly optimized, so I found myself also having low frames per second back when I was using it, which made it to me go down to D tier, unfortunately. Spectra is a most recent mod that's similar to Astronomer's Visual Pack, it aims at covering most of the improvements of the graphics in the game, but it's better optimized and it takes all of the positive aspects from previous older mods, like in fact Astronomer's Visual Pack or Stock Visual Enhancements, or another mod could be Better Atmospheres. What Spectra does is take all of these aspects and improve on them and deliver a package that is much more optimized and efficient, which I really like because of its better and polished design. Definitely an A tier mod. These two mods will be ideal if you have problems with the performance of Kerbal Space Program, maybe because you're running it on a low end computer. The first one is called Distant Object Enhancements. This mod to me has to be a C tier because it doesn't add a huge amount of change to how the visuals work, but it improves the realism. It does this in three ways. The first way is adding the rendering distance of your spacecraft up to 750 kilometers away, which is nice. The second way it does this is by blurring out the stars in space when you're looking at a very bright object or planet. This is just how our eyes work, so it's quite realistic to have this added. And the third way that distant uh, object enhancement improves the gameplay is by projecting small colored dots in space that represent the real time position of all of the other planets, and so the skybox will appear much more realistic. Planet Shine. Planet Shine has to be a D tier because it adds even less to the game, but it's not inherently bad. It just adds a colorful shine from the nearest planets you're flying nearby to your spacecraft. Let's face it though. The exhaust plumes of the rocket and jet engines in stock Kerbal Space Program just don't look that impressive. So we have two mods to help us fix that issue. The first one is called Real Plumes. Real Plumes is a bit of an old mod, it's slightly outdated and works with a particle system, meaning that it uses a number of particles to generate the plume out of the rocket. It features an expansion system, meaning that as you fly to the vacuum of space, your plume will expand as it does in real life. However, the downsides of this mod is that it is poorly optimized. And in my experience, the bigger the plume, because maybe you're equipping a larger engine, the lower your frames per second. You can fix this by manually changing the number of maximum particles, but then it will look 
even ugly. So personally, I just don't recommend it because we have Waterfall, which is a more recent mod. It is more optimized. I haven't experienced the same level of frames, frame dropping. And Waterfall works not with a particle system, but with a mesh system, meaning that you have shock cones, you have light effects, and you can fully customize them into making any sort of sci-fi look for your engine exhaust. It's really beautiful, has to go in B tier for me because Waterfall is just that gorgeous. While Real Plumes being outdated and frankly inefficient, um, it will be in E tier. I don't see a reason to use it. Before I continue and mention my top two favorite mods of all time, here are three special mentions that deserve to be on the list. The first one being Docking Camera. Docking Camera is a small KSP mod that allows you to have a view of the docking sequence and it helps you perhaps to learn how it works and offers various filters like night vision. But overall, nothing too big, not a massive deal, so, and I don't use it too much, so it's a D tier, at least for me. Then we have Avionic Systems. Avionic System adds interactable cockpits with levers, switches, and displays. They're really detailed in some cases, and it adds a level of immersion if you especially appreciate the first person aspect of Kerbal Space Program. Overall, it's a C tier mod. It's nothing too crazy, but it's nice to have. And then we have Camera Tools. Camera Tools is my favorite of these three because it's a very simple, it's very old actually, from 2014. But this mod allows you to get a further view from, from your aircraft, for example, and you can shoot so many different angles to make those cinematic videos. It also adds the sonic boom delay effect, the sonic boom uh, vibration that transmits through the air, and also the Doppler effect. And I personally really love it, so it's an A tier in my case. And now we can look at the two best visual mods of Kerbal Space Program, at least in my opinion. The first one being Parallax 2.0. What is so special about this mod? Well, this mod has a completely new surface scattering system, which adds high quality terrain tessellation shaders and a great variety of vegetation on both Kerbin and Lathe. This mod also adds colliders on all of the rocks that generate on every single planet, which means that players will have to develop much more advanced rovers in order to successfully get around these worlds. This mod uses GPU for rendering all of the shades of these new textures, and it has a medium performance impact, meaning that if you can run it, like in my case on a four-year-old laptop, this mod will add so much life to your experience on the surface of each single planet. And then we have the final mod, True Volumetric Clouds by BlackRack. This mod is not free because it's in pre-release. You can find it on BlackRack's Patreon for $4. I bought it and I think it was absolutely worth it. This mod adds 3D volumetric clouds to Eve, to Kerbin, Duna, Lathe and Jewel, but also adds a complete new weather system where you have rainstorms happen in Kerbin, for example, with lightning. This mod is always being updated and new features are always coming out. We have now storms on Jewel, for example. We have these massive sandstorms that can vary in size that go around on Duna and completely obscure the sun when you're down at the surface. So this mod does have a medium impact on your frames per second, but if you can run it, like in my case, it is really good because it adds just life to the climate, to the atmospheres of these planets. However, it does clash with other mods that are plugins to scatter at Eve. Examples being Astronomer's Visual Pack or Stock Visual Enhancements. Other mods could be like Spectra, so they can't run together, but this mod is just the best one when it comes to the visuals and what it offers. So I hope you enjoyed today's tier list and let me know down in the comments if you agree or you don't with the tier list I made today. Also, let me know what other aspect of Kerbal Space Program you'd like me to comment on and make a tier commentary video like this one. Peace out.